You probably know ChatGPT by now. It's all over the place. Everyone is using ChatGPT. But there's one thing that you probably haven't tried it yet. Is it creating a website with ChatGPT. Let's go to my computer here and I'll share with you how it works. So here from ChatGPT, you have this Explore GPTs. And I bet you have not used these tools yet. If you click here, you have a lot of plugins and functionalities built in as GPTs into ChatGPT. If you type in one.com right here, you'll find the website builder by one.com. And if you click that, you can start a chat. And this is a tool that will generate a prompt for you. Uh, so I'll just go through the process here with you and explain how it works. Basically click to start a chat. And now you'll have even some prompts here to start the conversation. So help me create a website, for example. And then it starts talking to you. Hey there, welcome. And I'm here to help you create a fantastic website with one.com. Let's start with the basics. What's the, webs what's the name of your website? And can you provide a brief description of what your website is about? So let's call the website uh, the catch of the day. So thank you, let's move forward with a couple more details to customize your website. Does your restaurant offer any of the following services? Online reservations, delivery service, takeout. Let's say we offer only delivery service and dine in. All right, so all you have to do now is click on confirm and it will start generating a template for your website. And there you have it, as simple as that. Now you have a template of a website for you to start working with. It already start with some copy in it because AI already auto generates some text with the information you gave ChatGPT right here. But if you go here and click on it or start customizing your website, you will go to our 14 day free trial of the website builder with one.com. So all you got to do is enter your email and password. You don't need to put any credit cards or anything. So it's super simple. So in this case, this is the color that it provided to us, but let's say you want to change to something else. In this case, I'll choose this one right here. I think it looks better than red for my restaurant, but it's up to you. You can customize colors as you wish. So you can come to custom here and you can change each individual color uh, to your likings. Uh, but let's say I like this one, so I'll stick with it. You also have the quick edit option here in the bottom. And if you check this part, you will see that it highlights in here and it will regenerate the text that is selected right here. For this case, I'm not gonna do that because I'll show you the writing assistant feature that it's built inside the website builder that you can also use later on. So let's click apply. And now you're in the website builder. I'll skip the tour here because I'm gonna do the tour myself with you guys. But if you want, you can just ask it to show you around and you show the, all the different features we have inside the website builder. All right. And from here, you're inside the website builder trial. And from here, you can do all the changes you want on your website. So let's say this is the text that we, we said we would change later, right? So here is the writing assistant that we have. So if you click on the text and then create, click on help me write, you can write a new text or modify the text. Let's say we want to modify the text. So you click here and then it will say it's editing with AI with the help of ChatGPT. And then if you click continue, it will ask you, what do you want to do with the text basically, right? So let's ask it to make shorter. There's even some things here to make it faster for you. And in our case, we want to make it shorter. So you click here and it already gave you something different and shorter, which is fantastic. So there you go. I like this idea. If you didn't, you can ask it to make it again and it will give you another variation for it. But let's use this text. So I clicked here and it already changed in here, right? Let's say you didn't like how it is now. Maybe you just want it to have it centered. There you go. It looks a bit better. I think it looks cool. So let's keep it like that. And then basically all on the website here, this is the template it gave us. It already looks super cool, but I recommend you to do that and change to the images that you have from your store, from your business, whatever it is, 
try to use your own images. If not, you can use uh, stock footage, stock images. And let me show you how to do it because we have plenty of images here that are from Unsplash that you can load them inside the, the website builder pretty easily. So let's say this background image, for example, if you click edit section and you come to background here, you can remove this image right here. And when you click to add a new image, you come to this uh, folder in here to select images. So you can upload images that you like, uh, that you have taken in here, and then you, they will be here for you. You just come here to upload or drag them in here. And if you come free from one.com, you have all royalty free images in here. Uh, that you can select and use on your website without any problems, which is fantastic. So let's come here and take a look. And you also have Shutterstock as another option if you don't find something suitable in here, but there's a lot of images here you can choose from. So if you take your time, you'll find something. Let's take a look here, fish restaurant. So we have a few variations in here. Let's see what would look nice. Let's try this one and add to page. And there you have it. Now you see there's a bit weird because you have the text on top, so it's not highlighting too much. What you can do is you change the opacity of the image and it makes it way easier for your text to pop out and you can ensure that people will be able to read it. All right. Um, everything on the website builder is drag and drop. So basically you can click here and drag things to the place you want it to be. So let's say you want the button to be second here. You can change that. Super simple to edit. You click here, let's say uh, menu, let's make it shorter, but you can change to any text you like in here. And you can also create links. So if you have a PDF as a menu or you want to link to another page, you click to change link here and you would be able to use an external URL or put a file in here or anything of that kind for your menu or for any other page you want to link it with. But you can also edit the form of a button. So let's say if you click here to edit again and you come to style, you can choose it from primary to secondary it will change already the style of it or you can also come here to this uh, engine on the right side to settings and then you will see that you can do further customization so let's say you want rounded corners on your button so you just change that in here and it will make it rounded uh, so that's pretty easy to accomplish you can change the font uh, of the letter and everything. Um, so there's a lot you can do with it. So I'm not gonna cover everything in this video, but you can try it out. And if you have any questions, you can also leave in the comment down below and we'll get back to you. All right, another thing you can do is that you can enter sections into your website. It's very easy to customize them uh, because let's say you want to have more than these things in here. When you add a new section, you, we have a lot of pre-built sections that you can choose from. And let's say you like something like this or like this maybe. You just click and there you have, you have a new section that's a pre-made block. You can come here and change picture just like we showed you. You just come to replace and choose something else and you add it here. It's super simple and you have a new picture in there. Uh, for the text, you can change and use the writing assistant like we showed you. And you can always change things from place. So you don't like this, you can delete this. And then maybe you want this on the other side. It's super simple to customize and to use it. So that's the beauty of drag and drop. You can also embed videos from YouTube, Vimeo. So let's say you have uh, a chef that is doing dishes on your restaurant or any other example that you would need a video to showcase your services or your products, you can also come here and embed a video uh, either from YouTube, Vimeo, or you can also have one video that you don't have on social channels uh, embedded directly only to your website, which is pretty nice and it's the self-hosted feature that you can see right here. All right, if we keep on our page in here, uh, you can see we have some menu stuff on the home page, but as I told you, you can create new pages right here. So if you click here, you can also create 
a page only for menu. So you can choose a blank page or you can also choose one of the templates in here. So you have one that it's called price list and menu. So you already have some pre-built menus you can choose from and also customize it. And let's just save that changes before. And then let's call this new menu because there was already something in there. So if you click on it, you have now a new page that will show here on your menu on the top. And it's this page right here, right? So, and you can customize it to your liking, add the photos of your products, of your dishes and everything in here, and it will look amazing. Let's go back to the home page. So we were here. Uh, so let's say you want to add a contact form. In this case, it already came in one uh, with the template, but let's delete this one just to show you. Uh, you can come here to contact, and here you can get a contact form and you just drag it to the page. You select an email uh, that you have uh, and then you can put it here. And whoever fills out the form, it will be sent an email to you so you can access and reply to your customers. All right. Uh, and then you just, you can also put an email subject so you know what, from where it is. So let's say contact form uh, home page and then save and then you have the contact form right here you can resize it and you can also edit fields and you can add new fields in here for example so you can put a company name if you need something like that you just click here and drag if you want the phone number you can drag here and those will be fields that will be now inserted into your form right uh, you also have opening hours in here so that's very relevant for websites uh, that are created for restaurants but for many other business that will also be the case and you also have social media links in here so this was already in the template but let's say again we can delete it and if you come to social you have social links in here when you click it brings you to this one and what you do this here, you can edit the icons, of course, so you can change the style of how they look. Uh, so you have a lot of different variations here of how the social media icons look like. So you can choose the one that best fits uh, your website. So let's say for us, let's choose this one. And then you can set the links here. So here you come and you can edit and then you add the link to your Facebook page and so on and so forth. And then you do that for all the social media channels that you have. All right, so after social media icons, you can see here, we also have a map. So you can actually come here and change the map to the location of your store. So it will be here clearly available to your visitors where your business is located. Another point is you can create an online shop. You can also create products and sell stuff online. So you can take your payments online as well with the online shop function. Besides that, if you want to also create a booking system, maybe you want to book tables and stuff, we have a functionality built in for that, but it's not available in the trial. But if you sign up for the website builder, uh, you will have access to that. So you can also create, so people go into your homepage and they create a booking uh, for a, a table or anything into your establishment. Before you publish, there is this function here on the top that it's called mobile view. If you click here, it will show you exactly how your website will look on a mobile. And that's the good part. I recommend you to go through it because nowadays most of the people will access your website from a mobile. So it's very important that your website is mobile responsive. And by the way you see here, it's already responsive. So it already looks good on a mobile, but sometimes you have to do fine adjustments and maybe even changing order of things so it looks better. So like you can move stuff up or down to see if it looks better. Uh, you can also come here and change the orientation, maybe like this or like this. Uh, you can also hide things. So let's say this is too much. You can come here and hide it and then you will see that it's here what you, you hid. Uh, so you can also bring it back. 
but that's my point. So you just have to play around with it and make sure that your customers will have an, a good experience even in the mobile version. Once you finish with that, you can go ahead and publish. Uh, since we are on the trial here, uh, you need to upgrade to a paid subscription in order to publish your website and you will also need to buy a domain name which is in your browser here. Whatever you type into your browser will be your domain name, right? So let's say we call this the catch of the day. So let's say we do the catch of the day.com. That would be our domain name. So you would have just to buy a domain name and get a paid subscription with one.com and you'll be able to publish your website so everyone can check it out. I hope this was a helpful tutorial and you saw how easy it is to create a website from scratch with the help of ChatGBT and AI as uh, embedded into the website builder. And I hope you enjoyed this and I look forward to see what you guys are going to create. So leave in the comments what type of website you're creating and we can also help you out uh, in creating more content for you in this. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I see you guys in the next video.